Hi everyone, I'm Akila. In this video, let us see how to deploy our SSIS package in the server. Yesterday, we have created the website load package, right? Which is truncating the table website data and then executing this ETL. Fetching the data from Excel, performing some transformations and then loading into website data table. So just let me execute this package and see the output before we deploy. So data flow says 998 rows has been inserted to website data table. Go back to the server, execute. Yeah, see data has been updated. Now, instead of manually executing this package, let us deploy into the server, into this integration services catalog, and we can schedule the job, execute this package daily. So how do you do that? So before deploying, make sure this build is properly. Let me stop this. We have saved the solution and we have built it properly. So we just now executed, right? The build has might, might have been updated and it is being saved and we have not done any changes. Now go back to your integration services catalog, right click. Select create catalog. It's for the first time because we haven't deployed the projects yet. So it is empty. Once we create this folder and started deploying, you'll always see a folder SSIS DB under which you may need to deploy your projects. The step which we have performed just now is only for the first time. Now I'm creating a folder so that I'll deploy all my packages to this respective folder. Let me create IBT demo integrations. Okay. Okay. I'm just segregating by giving it folder. So under this, it has created two folders for me, projects and environments. Nothing is being applied in this folders. Fine. Under projects folder, you need to deploy your project. There are two ways to deploy a project. Click next. One is by project deployment file or by integration services catalog. Now I'm using the first method, project deployment file. Click browse. Go to the path where your project is being saved. When you're creating the integration services package in the Visual Studio, it will ask you the location where you want to save this project. I have given this default location. I haven't updated. So this is my location. Under that, go to the folder. Click the folder under bin, under development, select this SPAC file, integration services, project deployment file or SPAC file. Select this. Okay, click next. Project will be deployed into your SQL server. Now, this is my server name. Check the connection to the server. Yes, and this is the Package, right? My first data integration. Click next. Click deploy. Close. If I click refresh, if I expand projects, I sh should see my solution. This is my solution name. If I expand, there is a packages folder. Under packages, I can see the package website load.dtsx. See? Website load.dtxs. This is a solution, right? The solution and the package name. Now, if I execute this from here, from integration services catalog, I can right click and execute this. And I can automate this execute by schedule execution with the help of SQL server agent. We'll do that in the next step. Click OK. I'm not using any parameters. I'm not giving anything. I'm not using this window as of now. Yes. So it should execute. Execute SQL task first to truncate the table, load the data from Excel sheet. Yes, see, we can see the locks here. A complete overview, execution overview. It's been succeeded. Truncate website data execution and then the website data flow task. Perfect. If I go to my query, if I execute this query, it should show still 998 rows. 
okay if you want to test whether this package is executing just truncate the table so that you can cross verify as message shown it is being executed perfectly see no records right go back to the server right click execute click ok yes i want to see the report view overview refresh refresh yeah go to the query execute this query see 998 rows has been inserted now instead of manually executing this package let me add a job in the sql server agent so that it will execute this package as per our requirement daily ones or weekly ones or whatever it is under jobs right click click new job give a name to this job let's say data load uh, description of an excel sheet category local go to steps add a step step name is this and under type i'm selecting sql server integration services package run as agent server account Let's give the server name and select the package see it is giving us a folder which we have created listing all the packages we have deployed selecting this package sick okay okay go to the schedules i'm making it very simple so if you want you can enable all alerts on success and all as we want to know how to schedule a job and all we are just making it very simple name of the job yes it's a recurring yes daily ones every day at 5 pm and uh, starting from today to uh next week okay alerts if you want you can alerts and notifications you can apply all that click okay see every day at 5 pm my package which is being deployed into integration services catalog folder will be executed Hope this is useful. Thank you.